Good morning, this is Rick from Outdoor Emergencies from HikingEmergencyBeacon.com and today I'm out here to test the navigation of the Etrex SE a little bit more because last time was a field test of basically everything just looking at the big picture but not in anything in a lot of detail. But this one here I'm going to go into the navigation a little deeper. Before I do that, please like, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted as soon as I put out new videos. Now, just for your information, you can tell I have two devices on me today. I have the Etrex SE right here, and I have the Garmin InReach Mini 2 here. And the reason I have both of these is this site is about SOS and messaging, getting help when you're in trouble, which this will help you navigate and maybe get out of trouble, but you can't communicate. That's why the Mini 2, I can communicate and I can call SOS or message SOS uh, on this device. All right, well, let's get into the Etrex SE. And the first thing I need to do is turn it on. If you don't know, power buttons on the top and there is a mark waypoint or OK button here and basically a back arrow here or return. And then you've got an up and a down arrow here. Very similar actually to the Mini 2. Mini 2's buttons are in the same location. All right, as soon as this fires up, we are going to navigate. Now, the way we're gonna to navigate today is by a course. And the nice thing is you can create a course on the Explorer app on your smartphone at home or in the field. Now you can also go into the Explorer Garmin page your own page and you can create a route there. I prefer to create courses on my smartphone out in the field. Now you can also do it on a Mini 2 or a GPS Map 66i or 67i, but I very much prefer to do it on the Explorer app. Okay, so what I just did is I went in on the device and I can't do screenshots of this. I haven't figured that out yet. And I deleted my activities and I deleted a course that I had created before because sometimes those get in the way and, and you have multiple tracks when you go out to the same area very often. So now that I've taken care of that, let's go create a course real quick and I'll have screenshots of this, but let's create this course on the Explorer app. All right, I just confirmed everything's set up. So now I'm gonna hit the plus icon on the top left and now I'm gonna create a course. This is all on the Explorer app. It's actually really easy to do. So I know about where I'm at, so I'm just gonna hit a few points here. And I'm gonna go through the trees to an area where I'm going to, I believe, about right where I'm gonna do the video or wrap up of this video. All right, so now that that's done, I've laid about five or six points down. I can hit save at the top right. Now this allows me to change the name. And I think what I'm gonna to do today is I'm gonna leave this as the name, the June 6th. It'll be easy for me to go back and delete it because this is a temporary course. So I'm gonna hit go. It asks me if I want to navigate, and there's three different devices here. I can navigate by the SE, the my watch, which I have on me here, the Garmin Phoenix 7X right here, and also the Mini 2. And today it's about the Etrex SE. So I'm going to, now I, there's two things I can do here. I can navigate by the Etrex SE here. I've created the course or I can go into the device. So what I wanna do here is I just wanted to actually show you this right here, but I want to navigate from the device first. Let's see how that works because you know, sometimes you don't want to rely on your smartphone because you know maybe the weather's bad or you you know you want to be careful of your battery etc you don't want to use your phone but it is nice to be able to create the course on the phone so we're going to back out of this i'm going to cancel that so this is all set up and then i'm going to come over here to my etrex se one thing i want to point out real quick is these garmin backpack tethers here they have velcro on them and they attach to the spine of the device you just slide it on there and it's also attached to my mini 2 they're incredible uh, i highly recommend you get one they're the best way to carry a satellite communicator in my opinion so now we're going to go to navigate since i can't take a screenshot i'm going to come around behind the camera i'm going to show you this to so you can see what's going on since i can't take screenshots don't know how yet all right let's do this okay i hope you can see that okay 
So right now it's on tracking and we're going to arrow down to navigate. Select navigate and we're going to arrow down to courses. Now I just created this course and it's by date. Okay, I had to actually turn my device off and turn it back on. But June 6th, the course I just created is right at the top. So we're going to hit OK, or yeah, the OK button, top button. And what does it say here? It says it's 40 feet away. So th there's these three bars at the top means there's more things to choose from. So we're going to hit that. And then it says go, go in reverse, view on map, course points, all that. So let's go down and view on map real quick. And there it is, very short course. And then we're gonna, let's see if we hit okay here, what it says, it says go. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do this, we're gonna hit go. And we are going to follow this. You can see the dotted line right there. There's some other waypoints, I've done other things out here, lots of other things. But you can see it's gonna follow the course. I'll stop along the way out here and take either screenshots or you know photos with my camera or get some video on this short little hike but i want to show you what it looks like as you navigate with the e-trex se well before we really get going on this navigation or at the start of it i do want to show you what this looks like on the explorer app so you can see right here there's a magenta line in front of it and then as we proceed there'll be a blue line behind us and you can see my blue arrow there has a Bluetooth icon on it showing I'm connected. So I'll take a screenshot of this. So if you want, you can see it on both devices. Well, let's get going here. And you can see right now that I've got my eTrex SE. And we're going to just track here on the uh, navigate actually uh, by the eTrex. Okay, one thing I wanted to show you real quick, and we're gonna get out in the sun so you can see this better. It's a beautiful morning. It's about 6.30 in the morning. I got up at five to get out here. Oh, hi, the sun's just coming up. One of the best times to get out in video. All right, so I have several tracks that are showing up from different things I've uh, followed tests in the past, but it's zoomed way out. My video location is right here. Where I really want to go is very small on the screen. So I hit the OK button. And then it, if I can arrow down to pan and zoom. Now if I want to pan in more, or not pan, zoom in, I can hit the up arrow. And it's going to see how it actually gave me, it zooms into my location more. You can see more of the trail. So that's what I really want to see right there. We're going to hit OK. Or let's see if we can go back. Well, I think we're going to leave it right here, actually, because this gives me my speed, my heading, and it says hold OK for what? What are we going to hold OK for? A hold OK for more information. So there's my coordinates right there. And I can hit go, save as waypoint. That's great. All right. So right now we're tracking. I'm a little off course, as you can see there. But I'm going through this open field, so it's kind of a little bit of a guess where exactly I was going. I'm going to go right through those trees, but just wanted to show you that how you can zoom in when you're out way out, you want to see your course better. So let's get going and we'll check this out a little bit more as we go. One thing that's really nice, I hope you can see there, is my course is a solid line just to the right. And my arrow there is where I am, but then you can see right behind my arrow is some little tracks. It's showing my tracks that I'm actually taking. I'm off course, left of the course, and you can see those tracks. I hope you can see them. They're very light, faint, but uh, they're easily visible here on the E-Trex. One thing I noticed is I had hit OK, so it wasn't following my course. Basically, I it was um, you know, I had put a waypoint down or was in the process of doing that. Well, I hit this back arrow here and got out of that. Now it's following the triangle and you can see the dots right behind it. it. Says I'm on course. See, that's great too. You get on course and off course alerts. I just wanted to show you that I hit back arrow. Now it's following my triangle on the course. Uh, 
Okay, I'm getting really close out here to where I video. But you can see there's the camera icon where I do a bunch of videos. The solid line is the course I created uh, back there on the right, so I'm off course. I was putting that course down pretty quick, so evidently I was a little bit wrong. You can see my other tracks I've laid down before because I've been out here uh, several times. And I just want to show you this, a little more detail of uh, what you see on the E-Trax SE. I'm getting really close to my the waypoint I put down for where I'm going to end up to do this video. And uh, again, just another different kind of screenshot since I can't get screenshots on this. If you know how to do screenshots on the E-Trax SE, please leave a comment. All right, I'm approaching my point here I had laid down. And it said when I was getting close, it said, well, there it is, course complete. And then before that, it said approaching uh, waypoint or uh, end of course, something like that. Okay, we've ended that short hike, that navigation. And there's, well, not screenshots, but videos of it. So I'm going to hit OK right now. And then it says tracking. Now, tracking controls. I never tracked. It did show my tracks as I was coming out here, but I actually did not track. And let's see what it says here. Uh, let's see if I hit navigate. So it's, it, what it did is that actually ended the navigation for me. So it's acting like I want to navigate again. But you can see real quick that both navigating on the Etrex SE is has a lot of information. It's a black and white screen or a gray screen, so you don't get those colors, but also on the phone here. So there's multiple ways you can view your course when you're navigating with the Etrex SE. You can do it on the device or on your smartphone. Now I just want to go over real quick, there's a few things with navigation. If you hit the OK button, when you're on the map screen and you go down to navigate, then there's waypoints, courses, activities, geocaching, city, coordinates, site and go. So those are multiple ways to navigate. But if I go to courses here and I pick on June 6, and I don't have screenshots, but there were the previous uh, shots or video of it. And then if I hit okay, this is where I can go in reverse now if I wanted to. And I'm not going to do that because I, know I could do that and then I could stop the navigation. That's fine. Well, let's try that. Let's see. I'm going to hit go and reverse. So now I'm navigating. If you can't see it, but you'll just have to trust me. So it's approaching point six. Well, that was nice. Now, if I hit OK, I want to stop navigation. So there it is. It says stop navigation. You should really be able to see this. This is not nice of me to do that. All right. Let's see if you can see that. See right there, it says under navigation, when you're navigating, it says stop navigation. There's tracking controls, pan, navigate, stop navigation, mark waypoint, edit that field. So there's several things you can do right there. So we are going to stop navigating. So I got to arrow down to it and then I'm going to hit stop. All right, so we're done with that. The only thing, like I said, we didn't do, which I always do when I go out, is I track. I did not track at all either with my Mini 2 or the Etrex SE, but that will be another video. This was here just a more detailed view or field test of the navigation of the Etrex SE. If you have any questions, advice, if you've used this more and you see things that I'm doing wrong or not doing, or there's other things you want to tell me about that I can relate to people in the next video or future videos, please leave a comment below. Well, that's it. I can show you more if I knew more. I will know more as I test this in the future, but I just want to show you real quick. You can create the course on your phone. You can navigate on the Etrex SE itself, or you can navigate on your phone in the Explore app. It really is nice and handy to be able to have the device here, plus be able to see where you're at on the bigger screen, have topo maps and aerials on the Explorer app. It's really great to have both. Well, thanks for joining me out here on Hiking Emergency Beacon. Please like, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted as soon as I put out new videos. And if you'd like to support Hiking Emergency Beacon, there's a link in the description below. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you back out here in Colorado in the next video.